Hey guys, Merlin here. Today I want to show you all the Diablo characters of Heroes of the Storm. Now, you can do this if you go to shop. Um, you can see all the characters. And currently there's only four Diablo characters, which is a way smaller number than the number of Starcraft and WoW characters. But maybe it's going to change in the future because I know at least that Asmodee and a few other heroes are going to be implemented later. Now, in Diablo, we have Diablo for 5,500. Barbarian costs 5,500 gold. So they cost the same. Demon Hunter costs 2,000 gold, so she is pretty cheap and she is a very good champion. And then we also got the Witch Doctor who costs 10,000 gold. So this is the expensive one. But, okay, let's start with the biggest one, Diablo. Deal before the Lord of Terror. Terror. Alright, I'm just gonna go directly to dry mode so I can show you the abilities. Directly in game, because that's what you really wanna see. You wanna see... Um, what abilities the character has have and how they feel like. Now Diablo has a Q, which is a shadow charge, which apparently is a charge attack that also stuns the opponent. And if they are knocked into like for example an object, they're going to be stunned for one second. Similar to like Wayne in League of Legends, where if you tumble across the wall they are stunned. Um, w is a fire storm, I can show this here right now, where fire um, goes away in some point. It's really hard to land because... Um, they go up randomly and they can't really target it, but you can target like the main fire one that goes across like from your mouth um, to someone or also from the back. And E is one of my fun one of the funniest skills. Um, this pretty much means that you can grab someone and slam him behind it. This is really good, for example, when you're defending tower. You can, for example, grab someone, um, pull him be below your tower or below your wall and let your towers finish him off. Alright, then the, the passive trait from Diablo is Black Soulstone. He gains 5 souls per hero kill, or 1 per minion, and for each soul he gains 5 maximum health. That's not really that strong, but what's more important is, at 50 souls, so if you kill 50 minions, or a combination of, let's say, for example, 40 minions and 2 heroes, then um, Diablo's death time decreases to 5 seconds. So if you got all the souls up and you die, which especially in late game could be like a 50 second death timer, you get it down to 5 seconds and immediately join the battlefield again. So Diablo has a very high presence in this game and is also pretty strong. Now his talents are... Apocalypse is a global ultimate. It, um, it's a global ultimate after two seconds that stuns enemy. For example, you can see Malfurion is fighting against Arthas here. I'm gonna use my ultimate now to help him. See, and I'm standing in base. I'm like 500 yards away and I stunned him. See, he stunned now for two seconds and took some damage. Um, the other passive that I have is. Let's reset the. Or other heroic. Let's reset that. Is Lightning Breath. And Lightning Breath, you probably already know this. This is like the same skill as from. Diablo 1, uh, Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, the big lightning breath. It does insane amount of damage and the radius is really huge. Alright, so let's get into the battle here. Clear cooldowns, this is just testing mode. And I'm gonna show you right away the overpower usage. I'm gonna overpower him. And see, he's in my hole now, so he's trapped. He can't get out of here, which means I can just kill him here with the towers. He can't pass the walls anymore. But yeah, that's Diablo for you. Really strong champion, Believe Warrior. Um, he's one of the tankiest champions in the game, so it's gonna take usually like two or three people to get him down. And really happy with the buff um, Diablo f so much from BlizzCon Alpha, where he was pretty weak. Okay, time for the next hero. Now let's see what I get next. Oh, I forgot the story. Known in the ancient tongue of, as Al Diabolos, the prime evil of terror, the demon lord Diablo seeks to claim the world of sanctuary for the burning hands. His victims are innumerable, his schemes unknowable, and his gender malleable. Oh, there we go. Witch Doctor! There we go. The Witch Doctor, um, pretty much all the heroes play pretty similarly to um, Diablo. Um... Diablo 3, and with the Vision, okay, let's go for this. Corpse Spiders, um, they deal damage on impact, so you, it's an attack that you have to target to a specific location, and once you do this, three spiders spawn that deal 20 damage each. Not that much, but um, it is something. It's mostly important to like land this skill shot. Um, Zombie Wall, again, is also another skill shot. Um, for example, it places an unpassable wall across heroes that also does damage. You can destroy it, but normally you don't want to destroy it unless you use it on your own minions. Like a witch doctor can actually like fuck up his, his own team because you can imprison your own heroes and they can't pass it then. And they have to heal 30 damage and last. Then we have Plague of Toads. Um, this is like an AoE that you can send out. Also another skill shot um, in the cone and 
does damage when it hits something upon contact. And um, the passive of the Witch Doctor is pretty much all attacks poison enemies for 75 additional damage. And if an enemy while poison dies, the Witch Doctor is going to re regenerate 20 health, which is a typo. It's actually, even me as a non native speaker knows, it's called health and not half. Um, and 5 mana. And the heroic abilities are this here. This is pretty fun. Um, let me toggle on the minions here. This is a Raven of Spirit, but first I'm going to show off the Gargantuan. It's a Gargantuan. This is like the same one as in Diablo 3. That stomps, um, CCs, slows movement speed. Um, you can also grab minions and yeah. I can show you something fun here, but just like... Um, because this is practice mode, I can um, clear my cooldowns and just like spam a lot of them. But it's not really a strong ultimate. The other ultimate is much better. Let me see here. Then we're gonna clear cooldowns, get another one, clear cooldowns, get another one. Look at that army. Get wrecked. <laughs> Damn army. It's like just for the lols and fun. But yeah, I also wanna show off the other... Oh shit, Arthas. <laughs> I can trap him here. So now I can't run away. See, he can't get out of this. By the Gargantuans, go on him. I can try to get him down. Spiders, come on, Dolts! No, no, no! Oh, the poison killed him! My poison actually killed him. Okay, really cool. And the other build, that's really strong. That's Raven the Spirit. I mean, the only reason why the Gargantuans like, owned this time was because um, I summoned like 10 of them, but it should only be one. Oh no, my Fuerian is going down. I'm gonna imprison him. And now use Multimatum. With the ultimate, you have to channel and stand still. But you can use with the ultimate and attack it. Look the damage it's doing. This is insane damage. I yeah, probably won't be able to get him. He's too far away. I can try to send the toads. Ah, okay, they exploded first. Yeah, I have to kill his Arthas somehow. Oh, he went out again. And he's down. Alright, that was the Witch Doctor. We have two more classes left in the Diablo lore. Let's go for the next one. Demon Hunter. That's the hero I played the most. I have a lot of I even own him. I have a lot of experience with her. And Demon Hunter is exactly like a Diablo 3 Demon Hunter. It's a lot of fun to play. Um it's a high damage assassin, extremely squishy, but it does a lot of damage. Now I'm gonna start with Rain of Vengeance here. Um the ability, Hungering Arrow. Um is pretty much Hungering Arrow, you send it out and then it seeks up to two additional uh, enemies, but it can also hit an enemy multiple times. So if there's only Let's assume a scenario where there's only one champion, a 1v1, a tier 1 with nothing around. Then the Hungry Grabber is going hit, to hit this one champion like multiple times. So like 200 damage in the first and then t -t 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 again for 100 damage each. Multishot, um, pretty common. You can see it's just a normal multishot for AoE damage. Um, you can also get a rune with Frost, which is called Frost Shot. that deals, uh, slows the enemies really good. Um, then Vault is a very good escape and chase skill. It's like Vayne's tumble, you could say. And Rain of Vengeance... Is a decent skill. Um, you can stun um, enemies per wave, but they can get out of it. So usually you can only stun once with it and not multiple times. Okay, let's get an action here. You can also use stealth here for advantage. If this icon like appears over your head, it means you're in stealth right now. And there's Arthas again. He doesn't know about this, so I'm gonna use my ultimate right away. Stun him. You saw my damage on him and you can see how much damage I'm doing here. He's trying to get away, I'm going to chase him now. And I got him. See, that's the strength of Demon Hunter. The damage on Arthas is like a tanky champion, so the damage was really a lot. And the other thing is Strafe. Strafe is a lot of fun, but it only works in certain team compositions. Now the way how the Heroes of the Storm works is... Um, at level 10 you get to choose between the ultimate and usually it's two very strong choices so depending on your team composition the enemy team composition and on level status like are you ahead are you behind that's how you usually choose your talents and this is a very great talent if you're ahead but if you're behind it's pretty much useless because um you pretty much expose yourself um the passive of demon is hatred um hatred works like this basic attacks can grant one stack of hatred and at eight stacks you become enraged dealing additional weapon damage and 50 percent attack speed which is really good you can see the stacks here in the bottom. It says building hatred 5, 6, 7, 8, and now I hit very fast. So I'm gonna go in now and try to burst. 
And this is straight. <laughs> nice area, I can play cooldowns again and again. See, it's super strong. Okay, and now I'm gonna play the last hero of the Diablo universe and the most fun one, the Barbarian. Now who remembers World of Barbarians of Diablo 3? Well, apparently World of Barbarian got nerfed in Diablo, but maybe here it's gonna work, let's see. Um, Diablo, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in game so I get more information on the skills. Okay, Diablo passive is Fury. Now, you can see I can't use my abilities yet, uh, uh, Barbarian's passive is Fury, you can't see my, I can't use my abilities yet because they need Fury, so I have to generate Fury first. Um, here it says Sonya uses Fury instead of Mana, and it's gained by taking damage, or using basic decks, or using abilities to generate Fury. There's one ability that generates Fury, which is Ancient Spear, which basically is a fresh hook with auto connection. Now, you throw a spear on something, um, on an enemy, and if it hits an enemy, um, you connect on it. Also does some decent damage and connect or generates 20 fury. Then we have leap. Leap is um, a stun, also pretty good. Um, and then we have rough berserk. And what I'm going to show you now is a rough berserk whirlwind combo. So I'm going to toggle on the minions. This here is a passive trait. Um, this is the talent system, but I'm going to go over this later. After like this is more appropriate, like hero guys and stun when there's um, the um, beta phase or late game beta. Because right now a lot of things are going to change. Okay, so now I'm just going to try to channel Fury. I'm just going to attack a bit. I'm using dual wield here. Oh, I got a lot of damage from minions. Which is fine right now. Because I got lifesteal. There's no last hitting, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. And now I want minions, and then I show off. Okay. Now it's time. Come to me, Arthas. I used the Helm of Ancient on him, but now I pop Rough Berserk and now I'm gonna Whirlwind. Look at this. Get wrecked! That's the strength of a Whirlwind buff. And you can even use this to like go for forts. I'm gonna go get Fury again here. But yeah, clear my cooldowns, pop Rough Berserk and Whirlwind again. It's a lot of AoE damage, wrecks pretty much everything. Especially like minion waves. And it does a lot of damage on forts as well as you can see here. Arthas is a very tanky champion, like this is much better against um, something like a demon hunter. You can also spam him of Ancients if you have enough fury. But I'm gonna kill him off with Whirlwind. No, he's kiting. Oh, for some reason it goes back. And it goes down. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the last skill of for the day. I'm gonna show you a leap. That leap is a stun, and you can leap into the air. I could try, like, you can even jump across this to, like, chase Ancient Spear here. I'm gonna get him low. I need to protect my Furion somehow. I'm gonna leap now the sun. Okay, I forced him back, that's good. Now I can whirl here. Connect again, and him of the ancients down. Alright, and that's the part for you. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this skill overview over the Diablo classes. Um, I am a Diablo player, I'm also a Warcraft player, but I really like the Diablo classes. They're all pretty strong, they're all cool. And oh shit, I'm gonna save my Furan. Or at least try to. I don't want him to die before I stop this video. Spam some of the ancients. Okay, I forced Arthur back. They should be fine now. And yeah, I'm gonna make the same for Starcraft and Warcraft universe. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back.